SaintJoeMachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is Saint Joe Machine Tutorials.com here with a video on the update of Machine 2.4 just to give you an idea of what's in there in case you're not aware. So everything is really geared towards plug-in handling and the NKS and different things like that. So one of the first things you'll probably notice when you go to load a plug-in is you'll see that you have everything grouped by manufacturer now, which makes it really quick to go in and find the stuff you want instead of having that big, huge, long list. Now you can go directly to whatever it is that you're trying to load. You can see native instruments, the internal stuff, and then all of your third-party developers down here. So really cool. Then also the browser. You can see it's changed. So you know, you got your drums and percussion, sampled instruments and synthesizers, and then you'll see the NKS stuff mixed in with the complete stuff. So you can see right there, Spark, or if we come down here, Evolution, Strawberry Guitar, Gravity, you know, if you come down, you can even see, you know, ARP, the different Arturius stuff. So anything that's NKS will actually show up here. You can go in and browse those folders as well. Like if we were to go into Gravity, I can see all the different stuff from Gravity, and I can load that up directly if I wanted to go back into maybe something like the CS80 I can do that and then you can also load directly from this browser as well so of course you can load your presets when you go in and you know find things by tags but if you just want to load one of the first presets just load it really quickly you can just go in and say hey maybe I want to load um, matrix 12 you see this little icon come up you can actually click on it and it's gonna just load the plugin so if we just click right here You see it loaded that plug-in right there. Of course, you get all your control. And all this stuff shows up directly on the controller as well. So let's take a look at that. So you can see on the controller right now, Matrix 12, we can go into the different types. Maybe if we want to go into like soundscapes or whatever it is. And now you have all that stuff there. So it follows the same tagging system that you're used to from machine. It just opens it up to anyone, you know, that wants to support this format, which is really cool. You know, so the NKS, I didn't know how much I would enjoy it, but it's definitely much more useful for me inside of machine than in the complete control software because, you know, I'm just really used to machines browsers. So really, really cool. Like I said, you can go down here. Maybe you want to go to gravity and then like you can go through all the stuff in gravity, soundscapes, whatever, pads, and just go in and load stuff directly to the pad. So really cool. And I find myself looking for stuff that is more integrated like this just because I find it a lot easier. And then you get control, you know, so if we were to go over here, come out of browse, you get your control. You got punish, twist, whatever it is that the manufacturer wanted to map, you have direct control over that stuff. So really straightforward. Again, if we go back into the browser, maybe we want to go just to synthesizers. Now I can look through all my synthesizers. Maybe, um, yeah, let's do synthesizers. And then let's look at... Uh, some reason it got on there we go and we got like um you can see uh waldorf nave so now we have nave and i can go over here maybe to synth pads and now i can look at all the pads inside of there load those up directly And you'll have a lot of different pages just depending on how many parameters that they wanted to map. But it's really straightforward in terms of if you're used to loading and browsing things inside a machine, then all the NKS stuff works in the exact same way. You get all the different presets. You can go in, directly control it. So it's really, really a well done implementation. Like I said, for me, it's much more useful inside of machines browser than complete control at least for me just because i like the whole visual aspect of being able to pull this stuff up directly from machine you can go back like i said you got your arturia stuff of course all the complete stuff is in there as well but let's say we want to go to maybe sem and i can go down and look at synth pads or leads or whatever and of course you can look at everything together like if you just want to go and say look at everything we can do that and then now i can just look for like mallets synth pads leads whatever it is that i want to look for you can do that so really straightforward i just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of it you can see right here all my different stuff so leads and now i'm looking through all the leads whether it be native instruments or third-party nks stuff 
again like i said the browser is just the same machine browser in terms of your tagging it just incorporates those third-party things and there's a lot of stuff that's actually coming right now i have the arturia stuff you know some stuff from heaviosity orange tree samples and waldorf but they have on their website if we pull it up you'll be able to see a lot of the stuff that's coming so if you go to the machine page on the Native Instruments website and look under NKS, you can kind of learn about it and see, you know, what's all in there. Right now it tells you what's out and what's coming. So it's really cool. Definitely looks like there's some cool stuff coming. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing who else kind of adopts this format because it's definitely useful for me inside of machines. So you can see UHE, Spitfire, Sound Iron, Sonic Kinetic, Project Sam, Output, you know, Orange Tree Samples, Heaviosity, Arterio. So Really, really cool stuff. Again, just wanted to make sure you were aware of how it works. Really cool browser integration. Again, let me pull it up really quick one more time. Again, so you can see if you own our instruments, it's all categorized. You can load directly just by clicking on a little icon on the picture, or you can go directly into that bank and then just kind of go through and pull up stuff. So really straightforward, of course. If you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.